There are many stories about living with a disability, but one disability that's often overlooked is impaired vision. In 2013, Vision Australia estimated there were 357,000 people in Australia who are blind or have low vision. This number is expected to grow to approximately 564,000 by 2030. To understand what it's like to live with blindness, I recently caught up with Mark, better known as Squinty, who was diagnosed as legally blind at only six months old. Um, I like living at home. Got the dog. Um, I don't really have any other any dramas except at the moment I got my friends around helping me build flat pack because, well, in all seriousness, I'm not very good at that. And with my eyesight and stuff, it's one thing that I really struggle with. So. But otherwise, I'm, I'm pretty good. I can cook for myself and all that sort of stuff. Play with the dogs. Yeah. I can keep the place tidy, no worries. But it's little things like I can't see the little things that need to be done. So I'll get a cleaner in to, to help me out with that. If I'm looking after people, I cook like the bare essentials. Something that's quite simple. At only six months old, his parents were quick to pick up that something wasn't right. You know, they knew that something was wrong straight away and so they took me to every optometrist, every ophthalmologist to try and sort it out. And by six months old, they'd worked out that I had a visual impairment and gave me contact lenses to fix it. So I was wearing contact lenses from six months old. Although Squinty likes to keep upbeat about life, he also has days when he struggles. Um, I suffer from depression and anxiety. Uh, and, and the doctor says that's because of my eyesight, but I think it's because of a lot of things too. Yeah, so I, you know, I can wake up in the morning and go, right, do I want to do this today? And about a year or so ago, I had a really tough time, but I wasn't going to work some, you know, maybe once or twice every month or something like that. And so the depression was affecting my, my work and my life. And so I went to the doctor and, and you know, got on some different medication and tried to get it sorted. Hey puppy, hey. I was born like this, so I've got nothing to compare it to. So I go, I get up, I have a shower, I get ready, I go to work, and I just do it as if, you know, the uh, same as anyone else would, because I don't know any different. Um, so I catch taxis around, and I get a taxi user sup I don't know, something like that, and that gives me half price up to fifty dollars. Squinty works Monday to Friday during daylight hours and is quick to express his love for radio. Um, it's what I wanted to do since I was seven and I'm lucky enough to do it. To take a closer look, I spent an afternoon learning about Squinty's role at the radio station. I'm the music director, I don't get to choose the music myself. I'm also the drive announcer here, so I work doing the drive show. So I do that in the afternoons and I'm also an image producer here as well, which means the little bits and pieces that go in between the songs that say, you know, Coast FM. Uh, but I'm the guy that puts all those little bits and pieces together as well. So how did Squinty come across his nickname? I ended up getting told by a friend to shut up, Squinty. And I go, that's a lot better than anything else. And that's a good radio name. I'm going to try and keep this. So no one can really call me blind or, or try and insult me or, or anything like that because I'm insulting myself every day. Every time I open the microphone and say, hi, it's Squinty here. What can you do? I'm not 100% blind, so I can still see enough to get around and, and do all the things I need to do. But apparently people that are as visually impaired as me can't do that. But I'm one of these people that just, I need to go out and do something. So I don't actually have any issues working in radio because, well, I'm having more issues now looking at the camera. Because I don't know if I'm looking at the camera or not. Um, but I don't really have an issue because it's, you know, you don't have to see things in radio as much. I can print the text bigger if I need to do the weather or I can print the text bigger if I need to read a community service announcement or something like that. So I just do little things like that to help me, but I, I think I just do it the same as everyone else. This is Coast FM, Green Day and American Idiot. We are doing eight straight for the drive home. Trace in Hall's head. What do you reckon of our eight straight? You loving it? Awesome. All right, cool. Let's keep it going now with Trevi McCoy and see you. Ya. Look in your eyes. Despite the restrictions he faces, Squinty stays motivated. The end goal would be to get to a metro radio station like a, you know, a Fox FM in Melbourne or a Triple M or a 92.9 or Nova. But in saying that, I'm pretty happy here at the minute. Squinty keeps his positive outlook on life no secret and is quite content living how he does. I think that's probably why I stayed around here so long. Like every other job I've had, I've always been there like a year and then I'd move on. But I've been in WA for about five years and I've got some really good friends and I've bought my own house now and 
So yeah, I can feel lonely at times, but I've got people that people around that can help me out with that. Is it